Hello and welcome to the Socrato TV, where wisdom meets the reality. I am your host Socrato and I'm inviting you to this political discourse where we deliberate on various uh, political issues in our society. Azimiola Umoja has been in constant fights and feuds since the day that Raila Amolo Odinga announced the, that he is going to vie uh, for the African Union Commission chairmanship. Uh, the same has also been experienced in ODM and it seems like uh, these uh, fights are not going to go down or they are not ending anytime soon. Martha Karua and Kalonzo Musioka Two co-principles of Azimiola Omoja seem not to be reading from the same script. We have seen that Mata Karua has also shown interest to be uh, the flag bearer of Azimiola Omoja, considering the fact that he was the deputy uh, presidential running mate, the deputy presidential aspirant in the year 2022, while Carlos Omsioka had actually been designated the role to become the chief cabinet secretary of the or the prime minister, the position that is currently held by Mdavadi. Since their victory did not come to pass, uh, they are seem to be re-strategizing uh, in a way that Azimiola Moja will now go back uh, to the ballot. That is, if we arrive or we reach 2027 when they are still together. The concern of this analysis is to look at why Martha Karua has hit at Kalonzo Msioka and what this means for Azimiola Umoja's future, for Kalonzo Msioka's politics and even for Martha Karua's uh, politics. So if you are new to our channel, feel free to subscribe so that we can continue getting uh, analysis that is nonpartisan analysis that is in depth and analysis that is up to date. So, do not forget to subscribe. Remember, at the Socrato TV is where wisdom uh, meets reality. Martha Karua has hit back to Kalonzo Msioka once again on what his terms as Kalonzo Msioka uh, is feeling entitled to be the flag bearer of Azimiola Umoja. Despite the fact that Martha Karua has not explicitly stated that he is not in Azimio, he argues that people are the ones that are supposed to decide who to be uh, the presidential running mate. In what he says, that Kalonzo Msioka cannot go all along making rallies, campaigning, and demarketing the other uh, co-principles, that is Martha Karua. And the question that I ask myself, is there anything wrong with Kalonzo Msioka transversing the country and campaigning for himself? As a matter of fact, in the politics, uh, as long as you do not get into the personal space of another person when campaigning, there is not, nothing wrong uh, when you uh, try to make yourself look superior to your opponent. That is how, uh, that is what exactly Raila Molo Dinga was doing, that is what Ruto was doing when they were campaigning. So if Kalonzo Msioka goes to people and tells them he feels the most qualified a person to lead the Azimula Umoja and become the presidential candidate and then contrasts it or compares it him with Mata Karua and why he feels that Mata Karua should not lead. Is there anything wrong with that? What if Mata Karua, instead of complaining, will also, go, will also have gone to the ground, meet his people, uh, state why he feels he's uh, the best suited person to lead Azimula Umoja and then and maybe state why he feels Kalonzo Msioka should not lead the uh, coalition. I think that will be sharing your ideologies 
and as long as he does not insult the other person, he does not get into uh, personal issues. There is nothing wrong with that, and therefore it is, in my opinion, I feel uh, the comments that are coming from Martha Karua that is criticizing Kalonzo Msioka for saying he's the best suited person to be the presidential candidate of Azimela Umoja are not really things that need to be appreciated. I think uh, even statistically, Kalonzo Msioka is ahead. Remember, Kalonzo Msioka uh, has about, uh, I think, four, four governors. The whole of uh, this county of, uh, okay, the Ukombani region, is predominantly wiper. Uh, there are many other areas in Kenya which are also uh, predominantly wiper. But for now, Kenya, I'm not sure even if they got an MCA in the 2022 uh, presidential election. So uh, as much as uh, Martha Karua may be right in his own right and in his own thinking, uh, politically speaking, I think uh, she's getting it wrong. And... Uh, it is in the interest of Azimuela Umoja that these two leaders or may any other leaders within Azimuela Umoja should cooperate and ensure that their goal is to remove Dr. William Samuel Ruto in power. So if your goal is to remove Dr. William Samuel Ruto in power, then it does not matter who is the presidential candidate. As long as you are sure that this will do the work, no problem, whether it's Mata Karua, whether it's Wajakoya, whether it's Oparanya, whether it's Joho, whoever can do the work should be supported fully. And this infighting that we are experiencing in this party, uh, that is in this coalition, I mean, and in extended to the uh, ODM party, are not healthy and uh, will actually make the enemy or the rival to take advantage of the situation and even divide it further. So that is my opinion in regard to that. And you can also share your opinion. Uh, remember the Socrates TV is where wisdom meets reality. And do not forget to subscribe.